So what we're seeing in the we saw in the Pacific Northwest, it's, it's just about to ease now a little, is what's called a heat dome. It's a high pressure system, the jet stream which moves the weather along, sort of was stuck for a while, and you have a lot of high pressure there and just a lot of heat. You know, 97 degrees, which is what we're supposed to get in the next few days in Washington. That's horrible, but it's not 116 or 115, which is what Portland, Oregon got. And it's unusual. What makes it really unusual is the Pacific Northwest is not known for heat waves. Just a week or so ago, the Southwest had a heat wave, a horrible heat wave, but they're known for heat waves. This happens. It's the time of year in Arizona for heat waves. This is not the time of year for heat waves in the Pacific Northwest. Also with climate change, you get much more intense downpours and much more intense drought. And in the West, they are in a mega drought of more than 20 years. Um, and you saw the fires last year, the fires have already started. <clears throat> Conditions are horrible this year for the fires. And that drought actually is a feedback effect making the heat worse. When you have a drought, it makes temperatures hotter. When temperatures are hotter, it makes the drought worse. And so we're seeing that in the West, less so in the Pacific Northwest, but it's still there. So that's another factor here. So you have a freak condition, freak weather condition that happens maybe once every thousand years. You have climate change, you have a drought, and it's all three together that is making it hotter in Oregon than it has ever been in Oklahoma, Texas. Well, dozens of nations, including the United States and China, who are the top two emission um, carbon dioxide emish, emitters in the world, China's number one, U.S. is number two, have pledged that sometime by mid-century, 2050 for the U.S., 2060 for China, that we will be no longer adding heat-trapping gases to the atmosphere. But 2050, 2060 is still 29, 39 years away. Uh, until then, we are still adding emissions. And what happens now doesn't get turned back. So these negotiations aren't about improving now. They are more about preventing much worse in the future. 